this is Melanie from Studio Network Solutions. Today, we're going to take a look at how a media production team can improve and accelerate their Adobe Premiere Pro workflow using an Evo shared storage server solution. Evo is a high-performance shared storage server that gives your team the ability to share projects and media in real time without having to copy or download files to your desktop or pass hard drives around the office or studio. Shared storage is the core of any collaborative video workflow, and it's an important part of making your team more productive and more organized. And while every video team needs storage, it's just as important to have a way to interact with your storage and organize all of the media that's on it. That's where Share Browser comes in. This is Share Browser. It's our built-in media asset management software included with every Evo system. With no per seat license fees and unlimited users, everyone on your team can tag footage, add comments, preview clips, and search across all of your storage. If you click this icon here, you will see all of the shares and external drives plugged into your computer. And we can even preview the footage, add tags and comments, etc. But before we start adding any metadata, let's move this over to the project folder we have set up on our team's Evo. We'll right click, copy, then we'll click over to that project, right click again, and select paste and verify. This is going to run a verification check against the original file and make sure everything shows up on our Teams Evo server the way it's supposed to. If you've ever tried to just download or drag footage from your office server or from a local drive and it ends up with weird ghosting or audio issues, this verification check will make sure that doesn't happen. If you need to ingest footage and you're wondering if you can throttle the copy, that can easily be done by adjusting the slider right here. Now that my files are transferred to Evo, everyone on my team can start working on them. No need to make additional copies. To make sure everyone on my team can easily find these files, I'm going to add a few basic tags to the project folder. By typing the tags in the bulk tag folder existing contents, we will apply tags to every file inside this project folder, PDFs, audio files, media, you name it. In other words, I don't have to tag each file individually. What we just showed you was the Share Browser desktop app. That's what our editors typically use because it has the full feature set. But if we have freelancers or someone who just needs to log clips or review footage, they can do that through the Share Browser web app. Let's switch over there and see how that looks. The Share Browser web app works and looks a lot like the desktop app. You can search, you can preview clips, you can add tags and comments to your clips, and you can even add files into a shared bin and then share them to other people on your team to review or just to organize shot selections or stock libraries. I'm going to select all of the clips and audio for this project and add them to a bin. The best reason to do this type of organization and tagging in Share Browser instead of doing it in Premiere itself is that your Share Browser metadata is universal. You can bring it into Premiere, of course, but you can also bring it into a number of different applications or MAM software. And when you need to find footage from an old project, you'll be able to find those media assets even if they've been archived, because your tags and comments aren't trapped inside of a project file. And again, the metadata you add is instantly available to everyone on your team using the Share Browser desktop or web app. Now that our footage is in, and we've added some tags and comments, let's hop on over to Premiere. And instead of heading over to the media browser and digging through a bunch of folders to get the files we need for this project, we can actually use the Share Browser panel extension, which is available to Evo users for free in the Adobe Exchange. Let's go ahead and select all of these files. From here, we can do a few things. We can use AI to automatically tag our clips with object, scene, and activity metadata. We'll show more about that another time. We can remove or add files to a bin, and we can import them into Premiere. Let's say I forgot to mount our media share. I can still search and see the unmounted volumes, and this icon here will let me mount it without having to leave my project. I don't really have to interrupt my workflow to get to it. Our media is never more than a couple clicks away. When we import files from the Share Browser panel, our metadata comes along with it. The tags and comments from Share Browser become log notes and descriptions inside of Premiere, so we can reference them throughout our edit and use them to search for clips and create bins. 
You can check out our video on share browser tips using search bins for more details about how to use your share browser metadata in Premiere. I'll add a link to that at the end of this video. So to recap, with an Evo workflow server, you get share browser media asset management included, so your team can stay organized with tags, comments, and metadata directly within Premiere Pro. But that's not all we can do with Evo. There's yet another set of workflow tools built into Evo that you should know about. It's called Slingshot, and it's a game changer. Slingshot is part backup utility, part automation builder, and part API all in one. And it can be used in a variety of ways to help you manage your data. With Slingshot, you can stop worrying about manually backing up your media and set scheduled, automatic backup and sync jobs with just a few clicks. To do that, we'll go to the Slingshot page in our Evo admin UI, select Create New Job, then decide what files we want to send, when we want to send them, and where we want them to go. We'll select this Evo and leave this field blank to tell our Evo that it should automatically back up all of the files on that share. Then we'll select a destination. This can be another Evo server like Evo Nearline, another SMB server on the network, or even a cloud destination like an Amazon S3 bucket or Dropbox. We'll choose Remote SMB for now. Then I'll give the folder a path and pick a time. We can choose to run this job manually or automate it hourly, daily, or weekly. I usually like to do my daily backups starting around 8 p.m. when everyone is out of the office so it doesn't interrupt any work. Last, we'll check the email job summary box here, which will send off an email alert when the backup is finished. There's so much more that you can do with Slingshot too. Automate file movements, back up to tier two or tier three storage, auto copy, delete, transcode. It's a simple task builder and a powerful API all in one. Now our entire team can share media and projects in real time. Our files are organized and easy to find thanks to share browser and all of our footage is safely backed up with Slingshot. And if you're working remotely, Evo includes a built-in remote editing tool called Nomad that helps you edit from home, on the go, or anywhere. You can learn all about Nomad in our remote editing video here. And that's how the Evo shared storage solution can improve your Adobe Premiere Pro workflow. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos and check out snsevo.com to learn how your team can finish projects faster with Evo.